box eight and they're just about set to go for the opening race. Event number one. All set, lights on. Lewis starts to roll, stand by for a start, ready. Off. Falcon Prey began well on the inside, so did Railing Wonder. Then Highville followed by Cobber coming over from the extreme outside. Then Miss Pinch followed by I'm a Jet Jazz Band and back towards the rear there is Tom Kelly. In fact, he's back to last of all. On the turn they run Falcon Prey the leader. Cobber out very wide on the track and then came Railing Wonder and the others can't win. Into the straight, the leader is Falcon Prey. The inside, it's Railing Wonder. Cobber down the outside and staying to fly is Miss Pinch right on the outside. I'll have to eat my words. This is flown out. Wide. Miss Pinch has won the day from Falcon Prey, either Highville or I'm a Jet for third, then Railing Wonder followed by Jazz Band and a miss uh, back at the rear of the field, Tom Kelly. Stand by for the numbers after the running of the opening race on tonight's program. Railing Wonder, so it's 7, 1 and 3. 7, 1 and 3, the numbers after the running of the first event of tonight's program. Miss Pinch the winner from Falcon Prey second and Railing Wonder third. Box two vacant in four Petite Fenton, six Lees Jet and eight High Spring. Lights on. Set and ready. Racing, Ligon's Beauty began fairly, missing the start, Petite Fenton. It's Ligon's Beauty being headed off now by Lee's Jet. All pinches going fast. Around the outside is High Spring, about two lengths away to good response, followed by the reserve, Petite Fenton. Then Agadou and Ligon's Beauty has dropped out to Stowe Motherless last. On the turn they run and Lee's Jet exploded away. About three or four lengths in front to all pinch second. Down the outside, High Spring, then came good response. But this would have to fall over to lose. I was going to bolt in Lee's Jet by four lengths to all pinch. The reserve uh, Petite Fenton ran third, then High Spring followed by Agadou, and behind those runners then would have been at the head of the rest, good response, and it was back towards the tail after the running of the second race with Flygon's Beauty never in the race. Stand by for the numbers after the running of race two tonight, the juvenile stakes over 400 and 97 metres. The time is 29.11. 29.11 the time for the running of the... Second race, we're quicken up somewhat from the first, and the numbers are six, five, and nine, and a very impressive win to number six, Lee's Jet. Second money going to number five, All Pinch, and third, number nine, Petite Fenton. After getting into a little bit of trouble, made up ground and ran home nicely. The winner, though, number six, Lee's Jet, whelped in August of 83 by Darvel's Flyer out of Highlay Lady, raced by C.K. Gittis and trained by P. Gittis. Second money in the race. Going to number five, all pinch, and third nine, Petite Fenton, six, five, and nine. The judges' numbers on. Is drawn box number eight. Last of them coming in. Lights on now, green lights on. Ready. Off. The Scrooge began fairly, missing it by two lengths was Blue Britannia and Cheeky Fenton back towards the rear. The Scrooge in front from Street Duke on the outside, then Glendale High. Behind those runners on X Blues, followed by Glenavon David Flash in time, Cheeky Fenton, Blue Britannia. Off the back into the turn and the favourites bolted away though, the Scrooge with what looked to be a winning lead. He's out by five lengths in front and is in absolutely no danger. Hard up on the inside paint, the Scrooge absolutely bolts in. Second money's going to be desperately tight, nearly a dead heat between Onyx Blues and Glenn David, Avon David. Then came behind those runners there would have been uh, Street Duke followed by Cheeky Fenton Flash in time and it's back at the rear with Blue Britannia. Stand by for the numbers after the running of the third race of tonight's program. The first league of the TAB Daily Double, the race three, a one, three and six, officially fourth, number seven, Glendale High. One, three and six, the numbers on race three. The time for the race, 28 and 70. One fiddle. Bit of trouble with first fiddle in two. Lights on now, they're all set. Ready to run. Off. 
Beautiful start, Bart Chief Glow on the outside who dropped back rearwards to the first they go. They all negotiated safely and Chief Customs, the pilot and a tearaway one at that out by four lengths to Springer Jack giving chase. Then Lord Truxton followed by first fiddle, then Chief Glow at about five lengths away to Sagittarius in a race of his own. On the turn, Chief Custom the leader out by four lengths with two to jump. In second placing, Springer Jack's trying hard but it's Chief Custom the leader. Now Springer Jack on the outside, staying a run on but it's all over. Chief Custom wins the day by about four lengths on the line to Springer Jack. Lord Traxton third, then Chief Glow, Sagittar, and first fiddle made a mess of one of his jumps and finished at the rear. Stand by for the numbers after the running of the fourth event. On tonight's card, the time is 30 and 96. 30 and 96 is the time after the running of race number four, the hurdle stakes, and the winner has run them ragged and made them look second rate. Number one, Chief Custom, the winner. A brilliant exhibition of jumping from go to woe. Second money to number four, Springer Jack. Tried hard, but was no match for the winner. And third, number five, Lord Truxton, officially fourth. Number eight, Chief Glow. One, four and five. Won the winner, Chief Custom. Well... Last of them come up. Lights on. Racing this time, Gabidja Boy began quickly on the outside. Hindu Magic away well, but it's Gabidja Boy the leader. About two lengths to Hindu Magic, then came Gillies River, followed by Happy Dash at the inside. Then final port, followed by at the head of the rest, Fawn Leader and Flame and Katie is last. On the turn though, and Gabidja Boy's open up a big leader, four or five lengths. In second placing, Hindu Magic, then Gillies River on the outside. He's pretty impressive so far anyway, Gabidja Boy. He's well clear, trying hard as Gillies River. Gabidja Boy stopping, Gillies River is flying and I reckon he got up to win. Gillies River has flashed down the outside and won it a nose. From Gabidja Boy, Flame and Cody has rocketed home too. It's run third. Then came Fawn Leather, followed by at the head of the rest, Hindu Magic, Final Port and Happy Dasher. Stand by for the numbers after the running of the fifth event of the program. 29.66 the time. Number eight, Gabidja Boy. And third, number seven, Flame and Cody. The numbers are five from eight and seven. Five, eight and seven on race five. Gillies River, the winner, whelped in November of 83 by Golden Gavin out of Gillies Coven and is raced and trained by J.W. Gelston. Second, number eight, Gabidja Boy. And third, number seven, Flame and Katie, five, eight and seven, 20... And six, and Madam Causeway, drawn box number eight. Last of the runners come up. Green lights on. About to go. Off, a level sort of a start, bounding out on the inside, take a mile away quickly too as My Red Tiger, Mountain Pearl. Then down the outside, Madam Causeway as they track into the back, followed by at the head of the rest there, Sweet Fever. About two lengths to Apricot Alice, followed by at the head of the rest there as Glorious pointed last of all is Golden Sheena. They run down the back, the reserves the leader, My Red Tiger. Being grabbed though by Madam Causeway and a bound on the outside, it's shot to the front. Around the outside runs Mountain Pearl, then came behind them Sweet Fever and the others are about four lengths away headed by Apricot Alice and then pulling to the outside Golden Sheena but she's no chance in the straight Mountain Pearl the leader from Madam Causeway on the outside then down the outside Sweet Fever and that's the way they'll finish as three from eight and six back fourth in the race then came Apricot Alice followed by at the head of the rest Golden Sheena a long way back then came behind those runners there would have been Take a Mile followed by Glorious Point at My Red Tiger after showing early pace knocked up and ran last Stand by for the numbers after the running of the sixth event of the program. They're three, eight and six. The winner, Martin Pearl. Second money will go to number eight, Madam Causeway. And third will be number six, Sweet Fever. After the running of the mixed stakes over the 7.25 metres, the time for the race, 44.26. 44.26 the time. The winner, and those numbers are official too, three, eight and six. The winner, number three, Mountain Pearl. Whelped in March of 82 by Spring Bay King out of Miss Perline. In seven, in two Jet Express, Tuller Joe drawn four, Miss Allenton six, and Miniver Man about to come up to box eight.
The trophy final sponsored by Edmonds. The last of them locked away. 497 metres is the journey and the green light is placed on. The Lewis starts to roll there. All set. And away they go. Robert Garner girl began well. So did Tala Joe on the outside. And Tala Joe has raced away. About three lengths in front of Robert Garner girl. Then New Amber followed by Summer. Come home. He's staying to Bullet Clear. And they'll be followed by Miss Super Tiff. Followed by Jet Express. And back at the rear mid of a man. But it's all Tala Joe. He said, Catch me if you can. And I reckon they can't. He's a mile out in front. About five lengths clear from Summer. Come home. And then Robert Garner girl. And Tala Joe bolts in. Tala Joe first. Robert Garner girl second nearly a dead heat for third between miss ellen and who flew and over on the outside there jet express followed by miniver man and he was up there too followed by new amber just back at the head of the rest and miss super tiv 28 94 is the time for the running of the seventh event of the program the second leg of tonight's tab daily double the tgo tba edmonds trophy final post maybe motorola by a nose rapido two or three lengths away dame sarah they were followed by golden haste then came remore followed by whiskey wyvern and tracy's flight at the rear First, Lights on. The going to win by four the run home. King's boys, second, Aribo, first, Here they come. Racing solitary Simon missed it on the inside. Petit Ziggy, one of the best to begin. Going fast down the outside though, Peter Julian. He's right round the extreme outside and he goes to the front now. From Epiphany, then Captain Kicks, followed by Gilly Swinger, real bold solitary Simon. And they'll be followed by Cookaburra Blue and Petit Ziggy has dropped out the last of all. But it's another Crosswell winner coming up. Peter Julian's a mile out in front, he's right off the track he's right down the outside and he's going to run right away and bolt in, about six lengths on the line, Gilly Swing is second Captain Kicks third, then Cookaburra Blue followed by Epiphany, then came Petit Ziggy and he's back rearwards after the running of the 8th event in company with also their solitary Simon. Time for the race 28.68 28.68 the time for the running of the 8th event of tonight's program and the winner is number 8 Peter Julian Number eight, the winner, Peter Julian, whelped in January of 83 by time bonus out of Waverley Rebel, raced by Mrs. P. Storey and trained by David Croswell and has bolted in. Eight, the winner, after race eight. And the time, 28.68, a brilliant performance and a brilliant... Lights on, Lewis starts to roll, stand by. Ready? Racing this time, beginning slowly on the outside, Carlita's Rebel. Best to begin was Carlita's Best on the inside. Morally Band is going up fast. Erin's Glendale, Carlita's Rebel around the outside. The inside is Remo Red. Morally Band's getting to this leader and they'll be followed then by Causeway Lass, followed by Carrick Ladd and then Star Picks and Erin's Glendale. But on the turn, oh, a bit of stripe there. Morally Band went bush still in front. Carlita's Best down the outside. Carlita's Rebel is storming through on the inside. It's got through and won. It's so Carly does Rebel first from Carly does Best. Now Carrick Lads run third, I think, from Star Picks next. Then Causeway Lass, Morley Band, Win Bush, when it had it won. Aaron's Glendale's back with them too, and so is Remo Red in a hectic finish. 29.17 the time, and it can only happen here. Seven is the winner, Carly does Rebel. Number one, second, Carlita's best. And we'll go for Ampole Openers, race nine, Cranbourne. Number one, no saint. Now, third placing has gone to number five, Carrick Ladd, at seven, one and five.
Bauxite Justin's pride. Lights on. Ready to go. Here's the lure. Racing this time, good even start, best to begin Southern time. From Calm 4 is going fast, around the outside getting checked there, Mr. Ali Star. That's the end of him, I'd say. Up to third is Stylish Miss there on the turn. And the leader is Southern time from Calm 4 down the outside. Running on Stylish Miss, Calm 4 on the outside and Southern time, but Southern time's one. Southern time from Calm 4, back third, Bo Tamora. Then came Stylish Miss, followed by at the head of the rest there. Would have been prompt Valerian Buff and Justin's pride with Mr. Ali star in a pack. Time for the races 1981. Wasn't a bad year either. 1981 the time for the running of the 10th event of Denali Smith. So it's race book order 1, 2 and 3. 1, 2 and 3 after the running of the 10th event. Southern time the winner. Calm for second. Botamore a third. And officially fourth number seven. Stylish Miss. Locked in. Lights on. About to go. Off they go this time. Toastmaster missed it on the outside. Glenavon Shan, the best to begin. From New Aussie on the inside, they're about two or three in front to Toastmaster Gillies Pride. Then came Laser Blast, followed by Coloured Credit. Laser Blast was checked, going forward count ten. And way back at the rear, Athenia. Toastmaster in one fell swoop is racing up on the outside to tackle Glenavon Shan. It's Glenavon Shan racing to the outside. The inside, New Aussie getting up on the rail. Coloured Credit, New Aussie the leader. And flying count ten out wide as one of the nose, I think. It's flashed up count ten and beaten New Aussie on record and Gillies Pride. Then came Toastmaster, followed by at the head of the rest, Coloured Credit. Then Gillies Pride and back with them too would have been Athenia at the rear end of the field. This is flash time on the outside. And I'd say has got up to win it by a lip. Judges called for a photo for back fourth. The winner, number seven, count ten. Second placing going to number one, New Aussie. And third, number three, Gillies Pride, just ahead of number four, Coloured Credit. So in a great finish, the numbers are seven, one and three. The winner, number seven, count ten, whelped in August of 82 by Kalima Boy out of ten points. And there's the all clear. All clear is there. All clear for the numbers seven, one and three. The time for the race, 29.78. Count ten, raced by Mrs. H.M. Mayer, trained by T. Mayer. Second placing going to New Aussie. And third, Gillies Pride, 7, 1 and 3 are the numbers after race number 11. And the all clear is there. All clear. Tudor's Adam began well on the inside. Back to last of all there as Casey's Hope get along. Chief was slow. It's Tudor's Adam being tackled by Gun Zoom on the outside. Two lengths away then to Scandal Star. He's off the track. Get along Chief. Casey's Hope poke up on his inside. And about two lengths to stretch for us. And Gillies Dreamer is last. He'd have to be a champion to win from there. On the turn now. And the leader on the outside is Gun Zoom. They're tackling him though. Grabbing him. Get along Chief. And fly now Scandal Star. He's storming home. But get along Chief in front. Just lasted. He's won from Scandal Star. Gillies Dreamer needs longer. They've been followed then by Casey's Hope. Tudor's Adam Stretch for us was in that pack. And he's back rearwards after the running of the final event. Stand by for the numbers. 29.45 is the time. 29 and 45 is the time for the running of the final race on tonight's program. The graduation stakes over 497 metres and another exciting finish to wrap up tonight's proceedings. Three, six, and eight. The winner number three, Get Along Chief. Good miss, BT. Young Savers account. I've got my very own coupon book. It's even got my name on it. You paid it at school and store at any SPT branch. My parents can direct credit extra savings to my account. And it earns great SBT interest. When I leave school, my Young Savers account becomes my SBT Easy Card account. For International Year of Youth, SBT gives young Tasmanians a better way to bank. SBT Young Savers Account! SBT! 
SBT celebrates the opening of its new Sorel branch with gifts for the ladies and the chance for someone to win an East West Airlines return trip for two to Sydney. Say hello to the friendly staff. Enjoy full banking facilities now at SBT's new branch in Sorel. This weather report is presented by Forest Resources, part of the Petersville Slee group of companies. Well, we enjoyed pleasant weather today with a maximum temperature of 18 degrees. And the good news is we can expect some rather nice weather over the next few days to persist. Looking at our satellite photo, we can see the extensive sheet of low-level strata cumulus cloud across the bite. And this is associated with an intense high-pressure system which is moving slowly eastwards. Elongated cloud bands south of Western Australia indicate a cold front which should be blocked by the high. On our synoptic chart, a high centred to the northwest of Tasmania this afternoon has assumed control of the state's weather and will remain the dominant influence for the next few days as it drifts eastwards. The high is expected to move through Bass Strait overnight and should become established in the West Tasman Sea during tomorrow. Our barometric pressure reading is 1,017 millibars and rising. And now a look at the Tasmanian chart. Cold inland overnight and early in the morning with local frost then a generally cool to mild and mostly sunny day. For the east coast, fine, a mild to warm and mostly sunny day. For the west coast, a fine, cool to mild day. For the central plateau and the upper Derwent Valley, Cold overnight with local frosts in a fine, cool to mild and mostly sunny day. For the southeast, Tewan Channel and Lower Derwent Valley, fine, cool overnight, then a generally mild to warm day. For inland waters, variable winds below 10 knots. For Launceston, fine, cold overnight and early in the morning, then a mild and mostly sunny day with a minimum of 5 and a maximum of 22. For Hobart, also fine, cool overnight, then a mild and mostly sunny day, with a minimum of 8 and a maximum of 21. For the coastal waters forecast, variable winds at 5 to 15 knots overnight and early in the morning with smooth to slight seas. Winds tending north to northwesterly tomorrow and increasing to average 10 to 20 knots during the afternoon with seas becoming slight to moderate. Afternoon sea breezes in the south and east, moderate southwest swirl on the south and west coast slowly decreasing tomorrow with low swirl in the remainder. Our friends in the capital cities, Melbourne can expect the day to become fine and sunny with 25 degrees. Sydney a few showers and 22. Canberra a fine day and 21. Adelaide fine and 25. Perth fine and 27. Brisbane a few showers and 28. And Darwin a late storm and 32 degrees. Well here in Hobart we can expect a really nice day tomorrow. So get outside and enjoy it. Until then, here's Tom. Thank you, Sue. More news tomorrow morning on the National Today Show. Switch to 7HT News as it happens. I'll see you again tomorrow night. Good night. Announcing Mitre 10's massive $15 million decorator extravaganza. Now